Hey, but I don't think you have anything to worry about. What do you mean got nothing to worry about? He's got my freaking wife. My son's whacked out of his mind. And he's two, two characters. Uh, 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 he's got my gun. What the hell am I supposed to do? I gotta worry about it. I was talking to the real Jesse in the mirror. He said not to worry about anything. Just like, let it, let it happen. You've been talking to the mirror? Well, I don't really understand how any of it works, man. But it just, I've been listening to him and he's been telling me what to do. I've been playing dumb for a while now. Well, if Jesse's in the mirror and he's telling you what to do, why isn't he snapping out of this? Why isn't he, you know, do something different? Why isn't he letting this go? You saw how the snapping thing worked a couple months ago? How he just snapped you into the psycho dad or the gymnastics person or whoever, like... Well, yeah, I seen that, but I thought it was over with. Why the hell is it continuing? When I talked to the wizard a couple months ago in Connecticut, he said just let everything play out too. Like, that's what I've been doing. And Jesse said it, the wizard said it, like, uh, obviously he's getting too far and we actually have to do something about it now. But if you talk to this guy in Connecticut and he's saying let it go, it's easy for him to say let it go. He don't have this shit happen to him. He don't have his kid snapping out of characters. He don't have his wife missing. He doesn't have a kid with a gun. Dude, I get that, but real Jesse in the mirror told me to just let it happen. Yeah, real Jesse in the mirror can sit back in the mirror and tell you this shit, but, but we're sitting here in reality trying to figure out what the hell they are.